It was nearly four years ago today that Charlie Baker had to admit defeat in the 2010 race for governor. That would not be the case this time, as Charlie Baker is now the newly elected governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Tonight, the voters said yes. <laughs> Though Martha Coakley did not officially concede last night, all five major television networks called the election in favor of Baker. In his victory speech, he did not criticize Coakley for a decision. In fact, he reminded supporters that every vote counts. I talked to her a couple minutes ago, and she said she really wants to wait till the morning to see the final results. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. In politics, in elections, every vote counts. Throughout the night, the poll showed Baker and Coakley in a narrow race, but supporters remained confident even when he was down. Well, I actually see him as uh, making a lot of steps forward uh, since 2010. Uh, he's really connected with the people. He's been able to uh, put a, a friendly face forward, and I think that makes a big difference. He also received support from former Governor Bill Weld, whom Charlie worked for from 1991 to 1997. As the night turned into morning and still no signs of retreating from Coakley, supporters grew restless, but Charlie reminded them what they'd been waiting for. Across the Commonwealth, in every region, in every town, in every community, to build the great Massachusetts that we all dream and live for. Reporting from the Seaport Hotel in Boston, I'm Paul Dudley.